hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing a quick video on how i made these um i guess floating balloons with the helium balloon on top um for a 50th celebration and stay tuned for next week and i will be doing a tutorial on the garland that's in the background of this um, but today we'll be just doing these floating balloons so let's get started all right, to make these is very simple. You need a weight, some fishing line, a needle. I got one of those um, thick, big needles just because I didn't want to like be losing it. So that's why I got a bigger needle. And I got that from Walmart. And the fishing line is also from Walmart, which is a 20 pound. Um, you probably can do thicker, um, but I just had already had 20 pounds. So that's what I got. So after tying the fishing line on the weight, I put it on the floor and kind of just um, cut it at the over top of my head a little bit of string left over um, and then I am tying the needle to the top of the fishing line and these are clear balloons and white balloons in the sizes of nine and five inch and I just you know size them down all to, to like the same size and when I am needling the balloon on the <laughs> If that's what it is I'm putting the needle on the balloon um, through the balloon I'm trying to fold the tip of it in half and trying to get it as close to the knot as possible not too close but as close as possible um, I leave a little bit of room but I'm basically folding it in half because I want the latex to be thicker I don't know I never did it the other way I just throw it let me fold it in half to give it a little bit more thick latex so it won't easily come off that was my thought process with that so folding it in half and putting the needle through it and let me tell you guys i did this at home it was only five of them that the client wanted the client sent you know sent this photo to me see if i can do it and this was my first time trying it out it wasn't hard at all however as you guys know it's just me and then i i did not think the process all the way through as far as transportation <laughs> and i end up um stuffing these in my trunk <laughs> and it was a hot mess they got all tangled up and i could not use them when i got on site so basically as long as it would have took me to untangle all of this with the fishing line which is like impossible i could just make new ones so that's what i did when i got on site i had to make five new ones which was really quick it took like 15 minutes i just cut i still use the same balloons um i cut the um, balloons off and just reuse them so that was easy and as you see I'm cutting some of the tip off of the balloon so you won't see that like just dangling around and that's pretty much the end of it um, next I'll be adding the helium balloons when we get on site and showing you guys the final look and I'll outsource all my helium um, to either party city um, for this I actually end up using a local vendor that my dad took me to um, that I end up using but I don't really have any desire on like buying a helium tank right now or even learning it but yeah so this is the final look you guys this is how everything turned out um if you have any questions please leave it below and stay tuned for next week video so you can see this garland that I made that I was so happy about so I see you in the next video guys bye